Yes, I'm calling um, just to ask about migraines. I have a good friend that suffers from them horribly, and I promised her I'd call to ask you some for some help. Okay. Migraines have to do with uh, either food allergies and or withdrawal symptoms of caffeine or sugar. In other words, if somebody is uh, drinks uh, a lot of caffeine, either in the form of iced tea or coffee, um, every hour, and then they get busy and for three hours they're driving or something and they don't have their source of um, their caffeine, as they're going through withdrawals, they will get this monster withdrawal headache, right? It's called a migraine headache. There are some people who are allergic to green beans or allergic to shrimp or whatever it is, and they'll get a migraine headache associated with that, or the nitrates that are in um, uh, deli meats, whatever it might be. And this is something where they will find out and I like people just to give up sugar, no sugar whatsoever, and no caffeine. And that takes care of about, I don't know, 80 to 90 percent of the migraines. They just go away as long as you're off of sugar. It might be a little grim for a couple of days as you're going through withdrawals. But uh, within a couple of days, it's over with, right? Then um, they have to keep a di- diary if that doesn't solve it. And they'll notice, you know, gosh, every time that I go to this particular restaurant and I eat X, it could be something like um, MSG. You go to a Chinese restaurant every third Friday of the month because you get paid or something, or you have a meeting with a friend at a Chinese restaurant. They put lots of MSG in the food, and, and you're sensitive to MSG. You get these horrible migraine headaches. You go there the next week or the next third week, and you say, I want that same dish I had last time I was here, but I don't want you to put the MSG in it. You have the dish, you don't get a migraine headache. MSG can be involved and it's like 0.0000001% of the population of Americans are sensitive to MSG. But it's so painful, so uncomfortable uh, for the people who do have this problem from MSG, they spend their entire life trying to get everybody else on earth off of MSG. It's a very small part of the population, but they're very passionate because it's so uncomfortable for them. They just need to go on with their life and stay away from MSG. And so they need to get on the 90 essential nutrients, uh, ramp up their body's defenses, and find out which is the offending food. And I always like to start them by getting off of sugar and off of caffeine, and invariably that will get rid of 80 to 90% of migraine headaches, okay? Okay. Always good to talk to you, Tammy. Thank you, Doc. Well, I really appreciate it.